tough. That's it. it's deceptive, like you said. Watson in the opener, four for four in the win. Popped up off the end of the bat, left side behind third base. Coco Woolley will back up and make the catch for out number one. Deep in twice next weekend in Oxford. They got LSU as well on the schedule, so they challenge themselves. This one lined in the left field. Keeley Williams played perfectly. Deep or a shallow and in on the line. Had to just move a couple steps to her left. She bridged no home runs, 11 runs driven in, but four doubles and a triple. Again, that's speed for this Lady Lions lineup. Smokes this one to left. It's going to get caught. Oh, just off the glove of a leaping Keeley Williams. It'll one hop and roll to the fence. That was hit on the screws by Dettelier. Keely, you know, you can't see it on TV as much, but the spin rate on her ball is just insane. The amount of revolutions that she can get on the toss. 2-2 two -two pitch, and there it is again. Swing and a miss. Strike three, back to back on the change. And seven against her. First pitch, bunt off the front of the plate. Coco Woolley, forget about it. One pitch, she's on. Infield single for Coco to kick things off. She would expect that they will try to ship her to second quickly. Here's Kennedy Powell, the sophomore out of Conroe. Left-handed batter. There she goes. Doesn't matter. As she's in standing up, ball went back to the screen on the throw. It hit off the glove of the catcher, Krolchek, and back to the screen. Stolen base. Uh, agree in the umpire room here, but as we're seeing it, she's about a step and change off the bag by the time the ball leaves. The After ball. further review, the runner left early at first. We have an out. So Coco, I think the disadvantages of running on the very first pitch that you see from the bases from a pitcher that you haven't yeah. seen all day. Chopped off the plate by Kennedy Powell. Quickly Dubois out of the circle to get it and throws to first, one to three. That's a, what, 22 mile an hour difference? It's a huge, it's a huge differential pitch to pitch, yeah. which is, is tough to time. Change, waits on it, rips it, left center field. That's going to run all the way to the fence. Rounding first is Cottrell. She is into second, standing up. And Julia Cottrell, the veteran, you can fool her once, maybe twice, but went up and got it. So here's Trin, line shot, but it's right at the third baseman, Dettelier. Hit anywhere else, it's into the grass and left. But tournament. Southeastern, when you have a, a, a mid-major, especially like in the Southland, here's a roller on the left side. Kennedy Powell has it and will throw her out at first. When you have a mid-major team like this that can finish with an RPI of fifth play. Teams can run in those, and this one's into right center field, right on cue. That's going to roll all the way to the wall. That's on me, Allie. Sorry about that. She'll pick it up there and get it in. It's going to be a double off the bat of Maddie Watson. But uh, line up. Vestal ready, 3-2 pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three. Outer half just off the plate. It's her second strikeout of the game. It's a really nice job, by Red shirted as a freshman at OU, played two years there and two years at Ole Miss before making the jump. 1-2 pitch, runners going, rises the ball, throw up, and the throw down to third. Kennedy Powell backing up, tags the runner, sliding into the back side of the bag, and Cottrell catches the runner. I know she had a home run two weeks ago, but that tells you how good of a player she is, where she's just kind of doing her thing. Change up, got under it, just missed it. Still drove it to pretty deep center field. It's caught out there by Goodman for out number one. Yeah, she just... I mean, when you're able to connect with the ball. Keely Williams ropes that one, but it's hit right at the left fielder for out number two, so hard line out to left. That's almost 67. That's like, that's a huge differential mm -hmm. between that and the changeup. That one skips in and Allie Enright draws the walk. And that walk is her fifth of the season. So once again, Donna, I know it's just two innings. I'm in. Payoff pitch, there goes Allie. Ryland pops it in the air to right center. Racing over is Cullivan. Now the center fielder coming over Goodman. She will. Make the catch about 15 feet shy of the wall out there in right center. Easily into second base. And they challenged for runner left early. They went to review and it was upheld. There's a swing and a miss. Strikeout. Brooke Vestal now three strikeouts once at the plate when the runner was thrown out. So that was the eight spot in the lineup. So now Cameron Goodman to the plate. We're back. Uh, we're back, fam. <laughs> Ground ball right side. Base hit. Pass the drawn in infield. And Cameron Goodman. But I'm called, Trisha calling time, talking to Gwendolyn Miller, the home plate umpire. And time called. She wants to see if the runner left early at first base, even though it's will change, change things a little bit. So we'll see what the review shows. Really close. Let's see here as Vestal is releasing the ball. The runner. For further review, the runner at first left early. We have now. Dustin, I'm at 
twice yeah. now. So. so took good speed off the bases. The count's one and two on Kaylin Watson, the leadoff hitter. No score here in the third. Nobody on base. And she swings and misses at a drop ball. And that will do it for <laughs> Texas A&M. Corliss here in the first game of the Texas A&M Invitational for the Aggies. Amari chops it off the plate at short. Quick throw across the diamond by McGee. And that is out number one here in the Texas A&M third inning. So throw over to first. So one out, here's Coco, smokes it in the left field right at Watson, who was shaded just a tiny bit to the left and in, and just had to take a step or two to her left, who has to back up because they can hit it a long ways. Changeup comes in, hits her in the helmet, and KP just stood there, let it bounce off, and she'll trot down to first. Smart decision. Natural up, hit the ball hard last, last at bat, so. It's a 1-0 to Jules. That is down and in, 2-0. Oh. They got the runner caught, throw to first. They skip the ball into second base. Does the first baseman, thank you very much. Coco Woolley will head to second, or excuse me, Kennedy Powell will head to second. Here's the 3-1. This one skips in, gets through the wickets of the catcher, back to the screen. It's a walk, and on the wild pitch, Powell will take the base. Julia Cottrell just trotting down to second. No one paying attention, and Jules just makes her way into scoring position. Nobody was really paying attention defensively. Nobody covering second base. And by the time they realized. Bottom of the third, two outs, 1-1 one, one pitch coming from Como. Off the end of the bat into the circle. She's got it, throws to first, and Cannon is retired for out number three. So the Aggies create a little bit of two-out magic. Or oh, no doubt. Oh, come on. <laughs> 5.55 anywhere is tough. Yeah. 2-1 pitch. Bunt, dragged to the right side. Vestal out of the circle, takes it, shuttles it over to first, out of the glove, and kind of like that uh, option pass from a... There's a payoff pitch from Brooke Vestal. Gets away from her, went up in the zone, sailed in high, and that is her first free pass she's allowed. It comes to Dettelier. Popped into right field. Allie Enright charging in, Rylan Wiggins going back, tried to make an over-the-shoulder catch. It was in no man's land. It will drop, and it will just hit off the end of Rylan's glove and yeah. that excites you moving forward. 2-2 two -two pitch coming, up and in. Hits off the glove of Cottrell, drops the ball, drops her glove, throws down to third, sliding in safe on the backside of the tag. It is Dettelier. I don't know if she got crossed. Grounded right side, base hit. That'll get the run home. Runner stops at second base. Two strike hitting off the bat of Lexi Johnson. She drives in, her seventh run. Of the and now the Lady Lions are on the board. I'm called, and Trisha Ford out to talk to the circle, and we might have ourselves a team. Again, how they're able to work out of this, how they're able to respond when they get back in the dugout. 2-2 two -two pitch from Shea. Rise in the air to left. It's carrying. Backing up is Keeley. Backing up right up against the wall under the light standard. She makes the catch. Throw in. Will get to third base, but both runners will advance. That's about as far as you can hit a ball without. Last year, first team all-conference hit 336. Veteran player trying to deliver a big hit. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Drop ball off the plate. Ackerman pumps her fist. Cottrell points at her pitcher. That was against the starter, Ellie Dubois, who went two and two-thirds innings, giving up two hits. Waits on that one, drives it into right center field. That is down. That one hops the fence. Here comes Jazz into second, standing up, and a leadoff double by the Aggie veteran. That's exactly what the Aggies needed right there. Great piece of hitting by Jazz in the pregame, and, and that's exactly what those contributions are. Line shot, that's into left center field. That will easily score Jazz Hill. Keely Williams with a wide turn at first. She'll stop, ball gets away for a second in the infield, but she'll stay there. Keely Williams, RBI single, and right back at them from the Aggies. We're tied at one. I just talked about, hey, how are they gonna come back into the dugout after giving up a run? And no panic, back-to-back -back line drive to get it done, and now we're tied at one. Fifth RBI over here to our right. Looks like uh, number two, Chloe Bennett. Number 14, Sarah Blanchard. This one is taken outside. Ball four. Southeastern wanted the call. Not close enough for Boudreaux on the 3-0. Easily score run from second. Yeah. 
tremendous raw power at the plate for the Aggies. Here's the pitch, grounded up the middle, shortstop near the bag, kicks off her glove, rolls into right field. Here comes Kramer, she'll score into third. Ali Enright, 2-1, Texas A&M. Maybe not how it's headed towards right field. Take the extra base. And I think what happened here, too, we'll see McGee, the shortstop, took her eye off it for a split second. She was trying yep. to decide if I'm going to underhand flip the second, try to get the bag. And that's a tag play at the plate with Allie Enright if the ball comes home. 0-2 the count. Here's the pitch. Line shot. That's down the line and left. It's fair. Knocked down by the left fielder. Tremendous play out there to save a double. Stopping at second is Ryland Wiggins, Amari Harper. It's a great piece of hitting, but also defensively, that's an awesome play by Watson out and left. Just getting her body in front of it, regardless of how, to stop that ball. That gets by her, that potentially scores two more. Poco with a little flare behind the circle. It's caught in the air. First pitch swinging, caught by the shortstop. Well, sometimes it takes longer than that, but. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> One, two pitch, change, cue to the right side. That will get both runners up a base. Throw to first is in time to retire Powell. Out number two. And Donna, that I think right there is the perfect example of an unselfish at bat by your two holes. Just to go to, go to uh, first base. Here's Cottrell, one for one with a double and a walk. Line shot, diving catch at shortstop by McGee to rob Julia of two RBI. Wow, that's a great play by McGee at short to end the inning there. A good inning for the Aggies, could have been more, but a great defensive play there by McGee on the line just to the left of her body. Past 6.30 in the evening here in College Station. Lights taking full effect here at Davis. Sun is almost down over here to our left. 3-2 pitch. That is a called strike three. Three straight on the outer black. Pitching. Here's Cameron Goodman, the nine-hole hitter. Lined up the middle into the circle. Ackerman reaches up and gets it on the chop. Throws to first. Two outs. It's a nice 3-1 the count to Watson. Chopped off the plate. Two hopper to short. Coco charges. Throws to first. And how about a one, two, three inning for Shaley Ackerman and four. And she's played all over the diamond. Third base, first base, now DP primarily this season, but really shows some versatility. There's a swing and a miss, strike three. Maybe chased a tiny bit up in the zone there. Jazz played three seasons, four at ASU, but three for Trisha Ford. In the air to right off the end of the bat, it's carrying pretty far. It's back, it's gone! That was a great piece of hitting by Jazz Hill there. Going the other way. We just said we were waiting for a home run. And we got it. Second of the year. Second year at Texas A&M. And she gets the howdy hat. Oh, we got a new prop. We got a horse as well. <laughs> Donna, that was on the chalk of the left-handed batter's box. And she went out and got it. Well, and that's such a good job of sitting, letting that pitch get deep and just going with the pitch. You don't want to try and do too much with that, but she got her hands in the right spot. And that's exactly what you want to do with that, that outside of you, and it just shows, again, they can get it done in so many ways. Here's the 0-2 pitch coming. This one is hit well to left field by Eshte. That is back, and what a catch! Leaping in the air in left field by Watson to rob Eshte of what would have been a triple. Second incredible defensive play we have seen by. <laughs> Learned that in media this week. Chopped down the third base line. It skips up off the bag and over the glove of the third baseman to Tillier and into left field. Base hit, Ali Enright. Helen Wiggins, the Aggie second baseman, rips that one to left field right at Watson on a line for out number three. The Aggies will add a run off the bat of Jazz Hill. Second home run of three runners. The Aggies have left. Uh, now five runners, four runs on seven hits. Slow roller, chop, check swing, left side. KP at third. We'll throw her out, one down. And Shaley Ackerman now, third baseman, pops it up on the right side of the infield. Moving towards the bag is the second baseman, Wiggins, and she will squeeze it for out number two. Again, this is in the circle for Texas A&M. Well, that's really the beauty of their staff yeah. is, is, like we talked about, just the different arsenals. In on the hands, and it's just muscled through the left side by the Lions' best hitter, Bailey Krolchek. That's a good job of veteran hitting there by the catcher. 
One two pitch. Rise ball, swing and a miss, strike three. And that will do it for the Lions here in the six. They'll strand her. And then a two o'clock game on Sunday to wrap up this tournament. Smokes that one, but right at the center fielder, Goodman. One out. How many line drive outs have we had today? We should have kept count. There's so many. At least, I'd say at least five. Line drive, base hit to right on two hops. Hit that so hard, Donna, she was about halfway down the line when it uh, got down two and hit a mammoth home run was that Oregon game. A one pitch, change up, bunted in front of the plate. Catcher picks it up, throws to first with the uh, first baseman, gets the out, and they back throw Coco dancing around off second, and she slides in safe, but it's a run or two for Texas A&M. Off the end of the bat, popped up in the air behind first base, and no man's land over there, running catch in foul territory by Contorno, the right. He's mixing it up right now. That one is a called strike three at the knees on the inner half. Fourth strikeout in relief for Shea. Eight games in this tournament, 11.30 St. Thomas, two o'clock North Dakota State. And that is a called strike three. And the runner knew it as she ran down to first base. Your Texas A&M. Yeah, no doubt. You don't want to get any speed up to, up to the plate. The pitch, that's hitting the gap to left center, and that's going to go all the way to the fence. It's going to one-hop the fence. Kramer picks it up, quickly gets the ball in. And it is a full count double into the left center field gap for southeastern Louisiana. Slapped at the shortstop, Coco. Behind the circle, throws to first, and that will do it. Texas A&M wins it. Final score, four to one. And Donna, great way to start off this tournament for Texas A&M. Definitely a great job getting the bats going. Great defense, only gave up one run.